Hi, I'm Alan. And I'm Vic. And we're Becca 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 TV. TV. Let's talk about vending, vending machines. machines. Winter vending edition. Have you been thirsty? I love me a good tea in the morning and coming from England I am thrilled to bits to find royal milk tea. You might not be impressed at first but hear me out. To get hot English tea on the go from a vending machine it's a luxury like no other. Look at that beaut. Normally when I want a tea I have to go back home. We have the kettle culture but here you don't have to go home. You can get it from a vending machine. Hey. So now let's give this a shot. One English person having royal milk tea, as it's called here. Royal because it's being made by the um, Duchess of Bedford since the 19th century. I'm gonna believe that. Mm. Yeah, that really is English tea. This is like milk tea with sugar. There is a non sugar option. It has two particular candies to say no sugar. Personally, I have no sugar in my tea, but this is nice on-the-go tea from a vending machine. It's a real great cuppa on the go. First thing I wanted to show you, hot tea. If you can tell by the sign underneath it, that red is hot and blue is cold, but it says atatakai, which means warm. So here it is, hot tea. On the label it says ocha, ocha means green tea. You can see on the lid as well it says hot and cold, so they serve it either way. Mm. You see like this little picture here, that's essentially what it is. It's not sweet, standard stuff, no funny business. That's just awesome to be able to have on the go. Right now we're in Hachiroji train station and on the platform you will find a lot of variation. I mean, just look at this stuff, including vegetable, oshiroko, which we covered in the mochi episode, clam soup, onion soup, and corn soup. So I'm going to put in 130 yen, and I'm going to click this one. Look, and here it is. Oh, yeah. So this is the greatest. The winter is really cold in Japan, and then this, it's just like a hot can. Sometimes what people do with it is that they slip it into their pockets and walk around, so that act as sort of that on-the-go hand warmer. And since these vending machines come up just pretty much every corner of every street in Tokyo, it's just, like, so good. Look at that. So I'm gonna have a go and see what's like. Ikutakimasu. Mmm. So that tastes just like cream of corn soup. You know, the, the Chinese style ones. I'm half Chinese, you know, I've been over this before, right? And actually, if you take big enough gulps, you will find that they have real corn kernels on the inside, so. This is brilliant, I really recommend it. It's sweet, savory, it's not too thick, but it, it's really good on the go food. I recommend it, give it a shot. Right, so it's my turn. So the thing I want to give a try is onion soup. Very um, savory in contrast to the sweet corn soup. Mm. This almost tastes like onion stock, actually. I can imagine that uh, someone like, oh, geez, I need to make this soup tonight. Would I recommend this? Uh, it's a little weird. I think I'll go next time for hot chocolate instead. This is a vending machine, and not just any vending machine. They give you hot drinks. Hot drinks in a cup. I'm gonna get strawberry cacao. Si, sí, por favor. So let's see the magic happen. Oh, 
but it's really nice to have this hot drink machine giving any interesting flavor you want that rekindles your soul or the warmth it provides. So following up where we just came from, we were in Minakami Kogan Ski Resort. Hi. So here I want to get a drink now. So looking at this, what I'm really interested in here, which I've not seen before, is pea or spinach soup. So what I'm gonna do is put in the cash and get myself, not a big, because I'm not that thirsty, but a small pea soup. So come down here, um, and you see here that the number is counting down till my drink may be ready. Whoa. It even has the lid on! Wow, that's so impressive! So should we open up and see what it's like? How do they get the lid on it? I'm really confused about that. Oh! Inyoi! Smells good. I'm sure it will be delicious too. Mm. Mm. Okay. So it's a little bit like cup of soup but without the croutons. Um, yeah, that's the, honestly the best way I can taste it. Okay, so now we're standing outside our last vending machine. This is an electronic vending machine. It's the future. Look at this stuff. What's great about this one is that when you touch it, it will give you information Ooh. about it. So I'm gonna choose this one here. This is a caramel latte. One, two, three. So I'm gonna press this. Oh, and look, there it is. It even opens for you. Wow, this looks pretty cool. I think the, the one from before was maybe this tall. That's um that's pretty sizable, I must say. Let's try this. Ikeda animals. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's not that thick either. I think it's quite good, especially after having the onion soup. We've got the milk flavor that's more dominant. In a way, it's more like a hot Nesquik drink rather than a milk latte. To be honest, I think a lot of Japanese drinks are a little bit too sweet for me because I quite like the non-sugared versions. But, you know, this is caramel. You can't exactly have a non-sweet caramel. So I think this one really, you know, takes the ticket. I really like it. Yeah. I'm going to get this one. It has a cap. So if you don't have change, you can get your travel cards or the London equivalent of Oyster. I think it kind of makes sense while you're in a traveling mood to go like, I don't have any change, but I've got more money on my Oyster than I do my bank. So um, just use that credit to get some drinks. And it has a cap. It does have a cap, really handy. It's actually quite hot. Really good for warming their fingers. So. That's milk, yeah. delicious, uh -huh. hot, yeah. cocoa. Oh, that smells really it's nice and sweet. What do you think? Yeah, not bad. It could be uh, a little thicker. It makes me more curious about the other types of hot chocolate here. That's the thing, every vending machine has something different. I'm always looking for the updated new selection they have, depending on the season. The selection is always changing. I appreciate that. I think that vending machine culture in Japan is so interesting. I think it's really wonderful that, especially during whole months of winter, that a hot drink is available around every corner. I mean, it, it removes the middleman of finding, let's say, like a cafe. I like that, like, I just want a hot drink right now, it's freezing. Hot drink, ongoing of what you're doing. But of course you don't even have to drink it straight away. You can just slip it in your pocket, keep your hands warm. And this is, you know, part of the magic of winter in Japan. This episode we had... Royal milk tea. Green tea. Corn soup. Onion soup. Strawberry hot chocolate. Pea soup. Caramel latte. And hot chocolate. Thank you for watching this episode of Pekka Pekka, Pekka, Pekka TV. TV. For more information about this episode, please click the link below, which takes you to the tablet page, where we found out more information about hot drinks. Please check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr and Instagram to keep up to date with our nighttime mischief. Until next time, bye! bye.